Previously on the Caucus Challenge. 18 of you have been selected to play one of the most cutthroat games this time around. This is just gonna be so messy because people that want redemption are willing to go the extra mile for it and I know it's gonna be all hell break loose. This is the first challenge of the season and you guys are playing bloody hell. I didn't experience really, really good times with Mike and we didn't had our really bad. Same with JT, we didn't had our ups and downs with rivalries throughout TLWL but I'm willing to work with them in this game. Two, one, go! 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 go. What are you doing? Easy. Yeah. Go! No. Fuck. Here, Mike. Mike, uh. right, give it here. Come on, Mike. Show, show some. Show some. I have Lance screaming my name. He has an answer. I have JT right here saying he has the answer. Okay. Back. Let's go. Oh, boy. You're not gonna disrespect me. Um, people, these Jersey boys here, think that they can say whatever they want and get away with it. It's a team win, you know. Yeah. We, we knew we were going to come in here and work together. Go! We all agreed that it'd be best to just leave the capsule on the ground. And guess what? Shayna destroyed the trust. Shayna, huge fuck you! It is a free-for-all. So I decided just to run after the capsule and retrieve the capsule for myself. So it feels good. You know, continuing my streak. Big thing for me. That's Honestly, it. we weren't even working together. Nope. Congratulations, two rookies, two vets in the second heat. The second heat of this round is a puzzle. You will each be stationed at a puzzle. The top three will become safe and form the first trifecta, which means one of you will not be safe, whether it's a guy or a girl. When Kristen, Adrian, John, and Janice made it to the round, Honestly, I was pretty confident because I know John has my back and I know if John has my back, Janice has my back. And even though I really don't know Kristen too well, she seems like a really nice girl. And Adrian as well because he was on Demaris' side. All right, so I was just saying where like, where are you, where are you feeling like name-wise? Like if you were to, you know, let's say you win the challenge and you want to throw a name out there. Do you have one? Nope. Okay. I figured, I figured. About yet. Do you have anyone, an allies, any allies, so we don't step on any toes? I mean, not really. Pretty much me and Darius talked. That was Darius. About it, right? I, I've been talking to Darius. Yeah. I'm fine, like, four, five, six, like, mm -hmm. whatever it is, I'm, I'm perfectly cool with running a final with you, Darius. Yeah. So. Right now, I'm just kind of trying, again, scrap up my numbers, and I know... Kristen, she kind of works with uh, Darius, and I know she has a child. I know she is a hardworking mom, and I've seen her on social media. I'm excited to hopefully work with her. I'm gonna put the name out there. I think it's a powerhouse. I think it's one of us. Wins. We gotta put out Lance. I knew you were gonna say that. Like no disrespect, like no disrespect to him. He, he's just way too good. He humbled me last season, so I haven't been talking, <laughs> but he's been talking like crazy shit. He's already salty. He lost the first challenge, so I think we put him in. This is now my third season. I've been learning from the game from the first two seasons. And what I've learned is you really actually can't trust everyone. Um, of course, I got Janice and Adrian. And of course, my seven, I got Shayna, Easy, and Deja. And let's just say, like, that's my core right now. But outside of that, everyone's, you know, there's gray lines, shady lines. So hopefully they got my back like I'm going to have theirs and we can ride this to the end. I don't really care at the end of the day because the only person I really did speak alliance with and who did talk to me and come up to me was oddly enough Edarius. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I mean everybody else like I didn't it's not like they came up to me so I don't I mean I don't owe nobody hey, nothing that's at this actually point, you know that's actually I mean? crazy too because when I was talking to Edarius I was asking him about Ty and he said you. Yeah. So I mean like but I said I was like I'll keep I'll keep him. your I'll keep your circle there yeah. if you keep your not yeah. at least not everyone but like you know we yeah. vote in our way. Not All right you. so coming into this my only real alliance was Edarius. Um, he was the only one that really talked to me and I talked to him. Um, nobody else, I didn't really feel like I owed anybody else anything because nobody came to me. And honestly, I didn't go to anybody else either. So now it's like if JT and Janice say they're gonna keep my number safe, then I'm gonna keep theirs safe and that's how we're gonna rock. I don't think they're going to get picked. Really? I feel like it's going to work. I don't know. I think it's going to be. 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 I think it's going to
on multiple occasions. Yeah, I'm excited to see even more TLWL fam coming into the game. Hopefully they, you know, want to learn from a, a caucus challenge champ. I look and it's the TLWL 7 group, but Lance is part of that and so he kind of gave me the window to go in. And so I start talking to them. We're kind of, you know, starting to think, okay, what can we do? I'm trying to figure out ways to make sure that it's not two of us going in. My strategy is just, I know I can do the physical challenge without ease. Um, it's more of the mental game and, um, you know, try to like talk my way into stuff. Which I feel like I'm pretty good with my words, so I feel like I can do pretty well in this season. Just because I'm a rookie, I don't think anyone should underestimate me. Get out. Get out. So I'm trying to give some areas to make sure I don't get it. No, I got I mean, obviously I don't After last time, I'm never going to volunteer. Honestly, like, I think my baby boo lands will help my game because that's just another number on my side. Same thing with him, like he knows that I have his back, but let's not get it twisted. I'm gonna stick to my guns, not play scared. I really hope other people won't play scared because I will call you out on it and you're just not gonna like it. So far, I have a little bit of an alliance forming. Definitely JT is my number one. That means he comes with Janice, Deja, Easy, and then I have the TLWL7 cast, Ruth, Marcy and Taco. I want to be on the side who has the most numbers. I don't want to see elimination ones. Go! Right now we're in the second round and to be honest, I'm feeling good about myself. Yes, it is a puzzle and I might not be the best, but I'm definitely not dumb and I'm definitely not slow. But I'm looking to the left, to my right, and I'm seeing people I'm comfortable with. I didn't feel any pressure. I had Janice, I had Adrian, my number one, and then I had Kristen, where at least after the conversations, we were on the same page. So there was no pressure in this challenge. It was just a matter of who wants to get it done first. Oh, While I'm doing this tanagram puzzle, it was hard. It was hard. No matter where I put the triangle or the square, I was still getting the same thing. Like, it was horrible. There was no way around it for me. I really thought, I was like, all right, Kristen, you know what? At this point, I think you did make it far enough. Um, we'll just see if you get thrown into elimination. Let's fucking go. Stop playing with me. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Two spots are taken. Stop fucking. Come on! I do have a number one guy. It would be JT, because that's my boy. Uh, basically family. Also Damaris, because, you know, we gotta stick with the athletes, my cousin. I've seen a couple people that I got my eyes on. I've seen a couple opponents, a couple allies, and I'm ready to get to work. I knew we were good, because I know Janice and JT are good at puzzles, so I was like, Okay, so no matter what, we had the odds. Move that bottom triangle. Leave that there. Leave another one. Leave this one. Done. Let me see it. This is where I fucked up, bro. I was trying to get your triangles to look like this. Yeah. It feels good to win, but. What, what made it better was just the way we came back and we dominated. Um, it showed that not only were we really strong competitors in general, to get voted out, not even get an elimination, and then to come back and the first thing we do is win it. It, it shows to everyone that we are that couple, we are that team. Um, and just as a team, we are so good, we are good individually. When JT, Janice, and Kristen all got in trifecta, I was like, okay, fucking good. I'm solid. Like they're no they already they already got my bag, they're not touching me. But I was also scared because like again, they might be wanting to be going after the people that I'm also close with from my season. I had nails, so it was hard to pick the pieces oh, yeah, up, no. and release them back, and it was like, huh? That's what I have to say to the people that voted um, JT and Janice out last season. Not only did one of them win, but another half of them won. Um, and Kristen, like, I'm really proud of her. She's, she's been a loyal fan of the show for since the beginning. And for her to come in and win the first game of her rookie season was really impressive. So I'm proud that I got, you know, the people that are on my side in the trifecta. <laughs> it was fun. 
I'm happy that we were both able to execute at, you know, and just show why we are honestly like the best competitors in general. Last time we won and then we got it voted, at, voted out and now we come back and the first challenge we win, the first puzzle we Picked win. Picked up where we left off. Exactly. Basically. And people said I can't solve puzzles. I'm proud of you. First place. You know, I just gotta pat us on the back for that one because you all saw how we left. And, you know, us just winning today together, after leaving together, we were just making our mark, setting the tone. Coming into the season, I did say I wasn't going to have any alliances, but now that my cousin Adrian is in the game, it changed because he has an alliance, so I joined with him. And I know his name is on the chopping block, and I will not say his name for anything. So I just have to protect him, and hopefully he doesn't get voted. Congratulations once again to Kristen, Janice, and JT for forming the first trifecta. You three are immune from elimination this round, but the rest of you will be going straight into deliberation. The trifecta will not know what is being said in deliberation. They will only know who you guys nominate. You will be nominating one guy and one girl. I definitely felt a little bit of security because I did have a conversation with John earlier about you know working with him and Janice. Um, I hadn't spoken to Janice yet about it, but you know it's definitely concerning whenever there's like you know extremely powerful players um, in any uh, power position in the game. So you know having a couple in the trifecta just means that they have full control over who they're gonna send in because if the other person disagrees, their vote is canceled out. Shana, come here. Yeah. JT starts immediately calling people to the side. So the people that don't get called, I immediately like, hey, lines have been drawn. This is how this game is gonna run. And if y'all play these people's game, y'all gonna get picked off one by one. Once I'm gone, who's the next target? Once Clay's gone, who's the next target? So at that point, I'm rallying in my TLWL people, the outliers, the outsiders, to try to like give them a little bit of hope. Like, hey, at the end of the day, we as a collective could vote together and ensure that we on the guy's side, I want I want to face Adrian knowing that I'm nine times a ten going in. This season is gonna be a season for the record books. Knowing that the season is individual, everyone will be playing their game for themselves. At the end of the day, you're not tied to a vet, you're not tied to a team. And people are gonna quickly see how the ties turn. The only way you gain safety is if you win. Um, so at the end of the day, you cannot trust a single soul. Yes, you might have worked with them in the past. Yes, you might have a good relationship with them. But in order for you to succeed, you have to worry about yourself. And I'm, I'm ready for it because I know at the end of the day, I put up and I shut up. And I don't think a lot of people have that in them. We need to work with someone even smarter than Wins and then have them pick diverse Wins. <laughs> Last season, I really wasn't social. I was just more of a powerhouse, but this game, I realized like not only should I be a powerhouse and win challenges, I should be social and help the people out around me. So. Adrian, he's got a big, big target on his back right now, and what I'm doing is, is just going around and kind of, you know, spreading breadcrumbs and trying to get people to see the real problem, which isn't Adrian, but Lance. People are playing scared. Why are people going to, like, strong competitors? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Really, really. Really, really. Last season, I obviously won with Lance. I don't think he owes me anything. I don't think I owe him anything. And I am a strong competitor, so I feel like he will still come after me. And I'll definitely go after him if I need to. He's a great competitor. Think about longevity. I'm not oblivious to seeing the surroundings and seeing where I follow people's sword and pole. That is my MO in games. At the end of the day, I've slowly seen, like, you have the C Caucus, you have the Dejas, you have the Shaynas, you have, you know, the JT Easy, the Seven. I'm trying to rally in the outsiders to let them know and give them a little insight, like, hey, even if I do end up in, I need y'all to be smart and be, you know, important going into, like, a possible house vote, et cetera. Ava comes to me and she's like, we know who has to go. And I'm like, uh, well, obviously, because Shayna broke all our trust. So we are like, how can we fucking like strategize with you if you're gonna fucking go the opposite of what everybody said? Are we summoning us? Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Come on, <please. laughs> 
we're throwing at Lance. Why? Because Lance is too good. Probably. To see everyone target Lance just because he's that good, um, it's heartbreaking because I know how bad he loves to compete and he wants to be here and he generally has like a true love for playing this game. What Y'all know I would never do that to y'all. I would never do that to y'all. Three girls that I got a chance to play the caucus challenge with previously was Deja, Janice, and Damaris. And I have different roller coaster relationships with all three of them. Damaris was someone that I targeted really early in the game, but we came together at one point and eventually won the challenge together. We have Deja. I have a really good kinship with her and that we can do really good things in the game. And of course we have Janice. I love Janice. Janice doesn't have a sour piece in her bone with me and I feel like we could really rally together and formulate some good stuff but the only thing I have to watch is that JT is in this game and she will always have JT's back over my back. I be smart for me. And that's why I say it oh. And I didn't even go for John last season. Lance and I go all the way back to Colorado. Uh, we have a relationship outside of the house. He's a great friend. But I do know that he has a target on his back this season. Anyone who watched last season knows that. It's Kind of like a double-edged sword. I need to break that shit up. Like, give me the decency and the respect. Like, for real. Being um, the most recent challenge champion, I'm going to have a huge target on my back. And I just know that I have to maneuver myself and put myself in the right positions to get myself further. It's a lot of people that want that crown, and they're going to have to go through me to get it. I'm not going to tell you who I'm going to vote for, because I don't trust anybody but the people that I'm friends with in this game and outside of the game. And I know that this is an individual game, but at the end of the day, you know, there is trust involved with many people here so if I don't know you and if I don't trust you and if I already see that your loyalty is lying with a whole other crowd that I also don't know I'm definitely not going to trust you so yeah my answer was I don't know I asked Deja what's the vote she was like oh you know like girl like I don't know what do you mean you don't know like what the fuck were you talking about to the trifecta about then girl you don't need to shave your ass you're talking to fucking JT you guys are literally friends. You don't need to save your ass with JT. Like, you're literally fine. My plan coming into this game was to get closer to the OGs. Because I know the OGs know the game better than anybody. Because, I mean, they've been, been doing this fucking for so many freaking years and seasons, right? So, JT came up to me. He was like, hey, Taco, I want to run the finals with you. Like, I fuck with you. And, like, if me and you can work together and you can put it. Because I know you're really close with the girls. So, we can, you can rally the girls up. Or whoever you feel comfortable with, we can do that. And I'll make sure, like, you won't be touched. You'll be good. So I'm like, okay, that sounds like a great deal. I fucking like that because, I mean, I'm trying to make sure, like, I'd be with the OGs because, again, I'm the smallest dude here and I need a lot of protection because if I don't have that protection, I'm going to be gone. It's time for deliberation and this is where I thrive in any type of social strategy situation. I know people are scared to go in eliminations, so you have to throw out different scenarios to ensure that they don't go in. So who wants to go in? Well, I know on the guy's side tribunal is voting me in. So, um, yeah. So, I'm going to put it out there that if I'm going to go in, I want to face a viable competitor. And I feel like someone should earn their stripes, and it's Adrian. So I, I would like the house to go Adrian as the guy who if I'm going in. I want to face Adrian. I want to face a rookie. So I immediately push out Adrian. And um, then I hear a little bit of inklings that they want to throw in Shayna. For me, Shayna's not someone who's really against me. So I'm really not going to teeter totter towards that direction. I'm going to not tell him throw my vote. I mean, it's not going to happen, but. You got it. I mean, yeah, because y'all obviously got numbers, and if people don't realize quick, this is an individual game. Well, what happens if we all vote you, and then you're just gonna pick him, correct? I don't have no say. I just think a lot of y'all feel that y'all hire on people's totem pole, and y'all think, and then it's gonna gag y'all when y'all see that mm, you don't really stand a chance. All right, any other guys? No, I think the guys are good. We know what we're going for. What's happening with the girls? What about yeah, the girls? What do you guys want to do? Um, Who are y'all voting for? Somebody yeah. sent me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. That's what it seems like. But Janice told you she's voting over again. But why? Why y'all voting Lance? What's the reason? Lance. I don't even know where to start with the guy. I don't really care too much for him. You know, he tried to be all nice and shit. And then, you know, I watched the behind the scenes, and he's like, "Can't let Beato get past the first round. We can't. We can't. We can't." 
and then you know they get me into elimination and you know this is definitely a different challenge for Lance uh, he doesn't have as many allies or even allies he thought he had they didn't have his back JT and I re realized we needed to get him out early you know and just make sure we had we put him up against someone like Clay his friend in elimination so that's already taking out two people that are a team I mean, wait, bro, wait, someone, someone needs to fucking say a name because obviously we're gonna vote in like two minutes, so you obviously have a name in I'll say it, Shayna. I'm voting her out because it's round one and she already can't be trusted. I like her, but you know, she has to go. Why Shayna? You can't say yeah. Shayna. Because she, she screwed us in the competition. Like, we all agreed that we weren't gonna tackle each other, we we're gonna leave it on the ground and read it, civilize, and then she goes in for the kill. I have no words for this deliberation. She was turning against us already. It's That's the end of the game. Right? Yeah, it's not the end of the game. Y'all playing this nice nice shit? Like, Who's your role? Y'all playing nice nice, so. Oh, you guys are saying Shayna, I'm gonna say one of you two then. Yeah. What did I say? What did I do? <laughs> Let's hear it. Yeah. 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 Ava, I kind of knew it was coming because when we were all outside making our decisions, she came up to me and she was like, I just want you to know, like, I'm your friend. Like, no matter what happens after today, we're good. But then I was like really, really shocked though when it came down to it that she did say my name. I asked you guys what you're voting and you just keep saying, I don't know. Well, you need to know because it's going to be in two minutes. So. Yeah, what are you voting? Oh, we don't I asked your decision based off of someone yeah, else. Like, so you're, like, you're asking me who I'm voting for, so you're saying I, I'm I don't asking know. Because I don't know if you haven't talked. Marcy immediately wanted me to tell her who I was voting for, yet she hasn't even said who she was voting for. She wanted me to tell her who my vote was meanwhile she wasn't saying hers so i was just like first of all you're a rookie second of all i don't have to tell you my vote third of all i don't know your vote so i don't know why you're coming crazy listen i confess shane is good competition that's why she's gotta go i definitely was nervous that jess would be one of the first to go into the elimination this season it's important that i trust no bitch because last time that didn't get me anywhere this time i got a rookie and a vet with me as my friends we get so much done together and you're about to find out all right so I'm going to say Jess because she wants to be eliminated. In the beginning, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I just wanted to go to sleep and I was just saying I wanted to go home. But once I got into the challenge, that definitely changed. Like my mental definitely changed. But they all like, I guess, remembered that I was saying that. I feel like Shayna had definitely more of a reason to go because she was definitely more of a threat because she, um, being a little sleepy. Okay, so I guess that's for the girls. I don't fucking know Adrian. I haven't had a conversation with him. So I don't really give a fuck who we vote in. So I'm like, okay, Adrian it is. And we already said that we were voting Shayna. So that was the game plan. I couldn't vote Justin because Justin and Ava are like this. And so I'm like, she's part of my alliance. It was nothing personal, but they wanted us to get Jess out. But Jess, we need Jess's vote because it's a games number. So if we get rid of Jess and they still have Shayna, that's more numbers for them. Why do, Why would we get rid of one of our alliances to make your numbers better? That makes absolutely no fucking sense. Shayna. And what? Hey, Adrian, I guess. Oh. Uh, it was time to vote and Ruth hit the ground running. She voted Adrian, she voted Shayna, and I'm like, oh shit. I'm voting Adrian, but I'm not voting Shayna because I feel like me and Shayna have some type of ties. I'm 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 in linked in with Deja from my previous season, and I know me voting Shayna would just cause them to all trickle on a vote for me. But also on the flip side, I just voted Adrian, who's they're probably really with, and it, it, it could go either way. Um, I'm gonna do Shayna just because we haven't really talked much all from the beginning. We just talked everything. Um, and then for the guys, I'm in a kind of already fucked up situation, so I'm gonna do Clay. Oh. <laughs> That's one person that don't see where they stand on the phone. <laughs> Edarius, I don't know where your mind at. Like literally, you're one of the smallest guys here, and we are literally looking out for you. Hit a Josh, a Josh from last season where he was playing whatever type of game he wanted to play, thinking that other people have his back when they literally are just using you for a vote. I don't know what JT rambled in his mind and I don't know what kind of googly eyes Edarius got for JT, but JT had him pussy whipped. And Edarius voted out Clay. I'm gonna go Marcy and I'm gonna go Clay. My loyalty is always gonna be with the people uh, I'm strongest with. So if I need a back door, some, some random, I don't care. I'm gonna uh, I'm have to do what I gotta do. Shayna and Adrian. 
Yo, fuck it up. Everyone's like got some you. crap on them or some shit. I know the guys vote is either gonna be me or Adrian because that's who we've kind of talked about. Now when it comes to the girls, honestly, I had no idea what to do. Jess said that she wanted to be out, so I was gonna vote for her and I meant to vote for her. And then for some reason, whenever I came to my vote, Everyone before me had said Shayna, so I said Shayna, and I didn't even mean to. I know she's a part of the Seven and this big alliance, and so right when I said her, I knew that I gave everyone a reason to vote for me. I knew that was a mess up, that was a slip up on my part. Hopefully it doesn't cost me too much this game. I picked Shayna, I can't stand her, and I'm gonna pick Clay, because I don't know. I'm gonna pick Jess and Easy. Uh, I'm gonna go for Jess as a girl, and um, I'll go Clay for the guys. The guys, I'll do Adrian and the girls, I'll go ahead and do Ava. Okay, Lance and then um, Shayna. It's crazy because in Colorado, Lance said, oh, the beef is done, the beef is done, whatever. So we get here last season on the challenge and he's telling me, oh yeah, we're done, we're good. And then I hear him talking shit on camera again, funny. He's being fake once again, bringing it from TLWL to the challenge. All this drama that Lance starts is his own problem. Adrian, right back at you. Um, and then for the girls, um, the numbers are already there. Sorry, Shayna. I really like Shayna. I have an actual, like, relationship with her. Um, you know, we're friends. So, Eva, Jess, and myself, Ruth, and then people from our TLW all season 7 alliance were to jump on board with that. We would have the numbers and we'd be able to control this vote. I used the excuse of like, oh, like, I was like, the votes were there. Bitches are not saying names. Bitches are not jumping on shit. I had people from my actual core alliance, Ruth, um, Lance, Clay, Surprisingly, we'll get into that. Voting Shayna, so I had to stick to that. Otherwise, I would have looked like a fake bitch and a backstabber and I would have fucked my people over and I feel like that would have put me in a worse spot. Adrian and, and the girls, Shayna, I guess. I feel like overall, I played like a fair game. Like I didn't play dirty, like not, like, I didn't, I feel like I didn't have a reason to go home. So I felt pretty safe, but then I ended up like, getting vote, a lot of votes, <laughs> so... Jess and Adrian. When it came down to deliberation, it was okay kind of awkward because I didn't expect um, the whole voting to happen at the same time within the same people. When I heard Shayna for elimination, I was like, damn. Damn, damn. I really didn't want her to go, obviously just because she's my friend and I know she's funny. I'm gonna say Marcy, I'm so sorry, because you said my girl's name. Um, for the for boys, it doesn't matter. <laughs> For the for the boys, I'm gonna do play. I really don't have anything against the girl. It's just more so like you're talking about that you're here to compete, you're here to compete. So I'm giving you the opportunity to go compete and prove yourself. That's really it. We all did it. We were all rookies once. For the boys, I'm voting in Clay, and for the girls, I'm voting in Marcy. The reason I said Marcy's name is because she said two of the people who I'm aligned with. So I just threw the vote right back at her. I was just really annoyed with Damaris and Daisha specifically because they were kind of like, oh, you're a rookie, you know, earn your stripes. I get that, it's the challenge, so, you know, no biggie in that sense. But I thought that them voting for me was kind of like just out of spite. It wasn't even strategic because I wasn't getting the votes to go in. Um, um, not yes, voting male Beato. I was honestly really more shocked when Marcy voted me in. Like, what's the reason? Like, you don't have a valid reason. For the girls, it is a clear answer. Shayna, you will be going into elimination. I was pretty shocked and I was kind of confused because I'm like, I felt like I was their biggest ally. So I was just more kind of like, you know what, you guys are on my hit list, whatever. With the guys, we do have a tie. Six to six between Adrian and Clay. It ends up being a tie. So I'm freaking out, super nervous. I definitely thought, you know, I could definitely be going this, this first elimination and this could be the end of my game already. At the end of the day, I know I'm going in, so I, X Adrian. I know some of y'all not, but that's how I'm voting. So. I mean, they're both rookies. They both need to earn earn their stripes either way. Uh, they had to do a second round of vote, like, because the votes were all over the place. And so they, like, were asking if uh, people wanted to change their vote. I know everyone in my alliance was mad at Darius because he kind of switched up last minute and went for Clay, even though Clay is in our alliance because I think the other alliance was trying to get to his brain. Even though they don't give a fuck about him, like, as soon as they get the chance, they're switching up on him. What are you doing? My shit ain't changing. Lance said what he said. It is what it is. So is Adrian. My vote not changing. I'm gonna just go ahead and do it, because I already know long term, I know I'm gonna be at the bottom regardless. So I am gonna change my vote, and it's gonna be to Adrian. I'm sorry, bro. 
If I didn't say clay, I know for a fact like I was solid going into the game. They would not put me in elimination. I knew for a fact like it also could help me in a long, long term game wise because Adrian is JT's number one. I'm not. So yes, I'm involved with that alliance, but I know for a fact that I'm at the bottom. So I was thinking of my, I'll think it to myself long term. That's the reason why I switched my vote to Adrian. I'm gonna go clay. I'm gonna go with Adrian. Clay. I'll put down Adrian. I feel like you can make it up. Oh my God. what? Adrian. Clay. I'm gonna yeah. stay with my vote, Adrian. I'm gonna change my vote to Clay. My vote's not changing. It's gonna be Clay. Adrian. Not changing. So Clay. Adrian. With that being said, Adrian, you will be going into elimination. Once the votes are redone, I actually end up winning that, and Adrian is the first person to go in. <sighs> Fuck. Um. I had no clue that Adrian was a family of vets. I thought he was like just a rookie here. So that's why I chose him because like I chose Jess, it was somebody I didn't know and I thought it was just a rookie. Come to find out, now I voted in somebody who's in the Alliance and I have a lot of damage control to do. Bio reasonings, because Lance could have beat Clay, but whatever. You don't know me. I don't care. Adrian, I mean, he's a rookie, so at the end of the day, they do need to go in and earn their stripes. But I wasn't saying him for the simple fact that, you know, he's connected to Demaris, and, Dem and Demaris is a number on my side. So voting for Clay was fairly simple since he, him and Lance are kind of the same body type, and it would have been, I honestly would have think it would have been a better match. I was kind of shook to see Shayna first round in there because Shayna's like well-liked, you know? and. She's obviously a vet of the of the series, so I would think that she would be in here. Like you know, she wouldn't have to worry. But I guess that just painted a bigger target on her back. Cause look where it got her. Next on the caucus challenge. You know who have your back in the game. That's what showed you. Lance played me out on TWL this season. I don't know what he's trying to do. The house decided to throw in Shayna. Wow. My oh, okay. That's crazy. And for the guys, Adrian. With us flipping the boat and getting Adrian in, maybe, just maybe, they might, you know, to keep their ally in the game, they're like, okay, well, maybe I don't want him to face Lance. Lance, 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 Darius. from your side, because you had a lot of numbers. I think it was Darius and Marcia. What happened? I did play and I, I recanted on Why? Because... We had a set agreement. You had no reason to vote me, please. Uh, I voted you because I wanted you. Then voting for me, I felt was just literally to just get under my skin to piss me off. I will remember those fucking votes. Bitch, you're mad because literally we just threw your fucking friend to elimination. Like, get the fuck out of here.